D'accord, alors, we are in the cuisine or the kitchen. Uh, you uh, will see I am talking in a French accent. I have also done on a silly French moustache because today we are doing the cooking of the national satanism. <laughs> bon, alors, to begin, we need our ingredients. We have the citron, the lemon, and what we are planning to make is the very special lemon. Monade and the most amazing lemon meringue pie. We do not subscribe to any kind of shop, do not worry. I just could not be bothered to make it myself. <laughs> D'accord, so I'll be begin. First of all, we need to take the citron, the, the very bon lemon, and we need to take a big, amazing part out of it to taste whether it is or not. Mm. That is disgusting. Why did I ever do this? I need to talk about the disgustingness of this lemon all the time. Whole life, I need to talk about this disgusting lemon. But I think what I need to do now is I need to take a break and a little rest. I need to try it again just to make sure it is properly ripe. Oh, hang on. I could fucking learn that that was a stupid thing to do and uh, not do it again. Ha! That would be a good idea. So, ugh, that was disgusting. <laughs> Basically, using your satanic third sight, you can see past the dualistic nature of things and you can bring about balance. From that perspective, you can see the tools that are required to bring about change. Obviously, the lemon squeezer and a little whisk. It's easy to blame the past for, for making the present rubbish, you know, um, but that's not gonna do, that's not gonna change anything. What you need to do is you need to learn from your mistakes. Metaphorically, you need to create a recipe book. This just so happens to be mine. Uh, with all my life lessons, my lemon recipes, if you were, you know, as rational Satanists, we're not uh, we're not lazy. I think you'll find when you go through the, the tasks in a philosophy uh, accreditation, you'll see that there is sections in there where you'll learn to make your own lemon recipes, as you were. Um, Anyhow, so when you look back, you're not bitter about things because the things that have been, which you may perceive to be bitter now, have actually shaped you and moved you um, and progressed you to where you are now. You know, there's no reason to to dislike the past because if the past hadn't happened, you'd never be right here, right now. And that's the main thing you need to be focused on, right here, right now, right. I'm going to wash this fucking moustache off my face.